you know, I don't get nervous, but I'm scared out of my mind. Um, it's, it's always, I always say if you don't get nervous, you don't get scared, you're doing it wrong. Hello, my name is Alex and I'm standing right outside the rehearsal room for the concert staging of Pippin, which celebrates its 50th anniversary. Stephen Schwartz's seminal musical will star Alex Newell and Jack Yarrow, and I think I better let them take it from here. I think it's a good theatre for Pippin. I mean, it's in Covent Garden, which used to be a circus, didn't it? I don't know, did it? Did so it feels fitting. It feels I'm like new here. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm asking you like you're the Londoner. But yeah, it feels kind of fitting. I'm excited. I really can't wait. I think it's... It's it's going to be a lovely experience in the frozen theatre. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I call this my year of Schwartzy. I did two of his honours last year and I'm doing this. So this is my third time with Schwartzy. Um, and I love it. I love it so much. It sounds sarcastic, but I actually do love it. There's so many lyrics of Schwartz in my head right now. <laughs> What's your favourite? My favourite short song is Meadowlark. It's not in Pippin. It's, oh, oh, you <laughs> should have said in Pippin. Anyway. Oh, sorry. What's your favorite Stephen Schwartz song in Pippin? Um, Corner of the Sky for 200, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> it stands the test of time because it relates no matter what decade it's in. Um, it shows that life is this constant circle that we keep going around and round in and this art that capsulized one moment in time before the moment in time it was made for still holds true to this day. Yeah, I feel like there's so many elements to Pippin too, that each incarnation of Pippin that has ever happened has sort of highlighted one or the other. So it's kind of fun to be able to do our version and see what, you know, Jonathan and the cast are going to kind of bring forward with this Pippin and see how we're going to make it current and relevant to people who are going to come and watch it at the Drury Lane. I mean, I'm looking forward to hearing this one just belting it out. But I think it will be, I mean, it will be amazing to look out and see a full Drury Lane and for so many people to show love to this show that hasn't really had a huge production here yeah. since Patricia Hodge did it back in the 70s. So it's cool to be kind of the first people to do it again. To do it again, yeah, on a big such a big scale. It's also like I love the reaction of like hearing this material for the first time. Yeah. Because there's always someone that's gonna hear it for the first time in this setting no matter what. Yeah, it's exciting because you think it's you know what Pippin's about no. when you first hear it and then as it progresses you're like, oh my gosh, this is about something so much deeper and so much darker. And it's cool, it's fun to see, yeah, it's exciting to see people react to it in that way. You know, I don't get nervous, but I'm scared out of my mind. Um, it's, it's always, I always say if you don't get nervous, you don't get scared, you're doing it wrong. And I think having this, this new introduction to something that I've not done before is really just carrying me to really want to be great and lean on my cast and our creatives and everybody and make it really great. <laughs>